What's up, Sofa? What's good? You know, good to see you. Happy playoffs. Appreciate you. No problem. Uh, we will begin now. First question will come from Sarah Spencer. Hey, Solo, how are you? I'm doing fine, how are you doing? Good. Um, what have you told the guys, uh, you know, the younger guys who maybe this is their first playoff uh, appearance, what have you told them about what to, ex what to expect and just the difference between the regular season and, and playoffs? Um, from the basics of just like um, trying to teach, and, I mean, because you can't really um, try to give them a feeling of like the arena and how loud it's going to be. Pretty sure it's going to be pretty loud when we, you know, for this game and then especially for um, our, our first home game because it's what, like near capacity. Um, but it's just the execution. You know, uh, when you're playing in a regular season, especially this regular season, you had a game every other day. So the things that you would prepare for teams is, is really more about yourself. You know, you want to find that consistency and what you do defensively. But now that we're in the playoffs, we only have one team to play. So paying attention to play calls, you should know play calls especially if this is the guy that you're guarding. You should be real familiar with the team and what they want to do, how they like to play the game, um, to try to give you the best advantage uh, being on the court. Every loose ball, um, every rebound, you know, any any 50-50s, all those things um, are, are are heightened. You know, we've seen, seen uh, Miami, you know, with Ray Allen, you know, talking about a, a free throw box out or rebound to a kick out. Um, plays, little plays like that uh, can dramatically, dramatic, uh, dramatically change a series. So just telling the guys to be locked in, uh, to be comfortable with what we want to do out there, what we want to execute. If there's anything that they are unfamiliar with, uh, speak up now. Uh, but just to go out there and have fun. Uh, I think another thing that we talk about is this is when, you know, this is what you play for. It's like March Madness for college. A lot of those guys are young. And, um, it, was a, it was a lot easier for some some schools to, to just move on with, with, with a bit of talent, but this is what we play for. Uh, this is everything that we want and dreamed of. And we want to normalize, you know, being competitive uh, in the playoffs every year. Christos. Hey, Shalom, good to see you. What's up, Christos? I would like to ask you, how, how was that week for you with day off practices? How beneficial was that week? Um, I don't know, honestly. You know, I think it was kind of just like uh, they just gave us day off just because they had to. Uh, it, it's it's definitely a weird area where, you know, um, how much recovery are you really getting? Um, I'm, I'm used to kind of like, you know, back to back, we have a day off and then we'll go to a practice. Uh, this season was um, was back to back and then you go into a game. So now that we're in this area, in this in this realm of having you know, maybe two days in between games, I think it's very beneficial uh, to whoever is going to be playing in the playoffs because it gives you a sense of, you know, being able to relax. We're not in a bubble atmosphere anymore. I think um, I think GA had said something about, when, you know, when you play this game and then you're going right back into the bubble or the hotel and you're just surrounded completely by basketball, it's hard to kind of uh, to take your mind off the game and, and re-energize. But now that we're able to go outside, um, a bit we're able to go grab something to eat so it, it allows you to re-energize and, and reset for whatever game or if it's a practice day kind of just uh, mentally focus in uh, the fact that you can have uh, friends and family attend as well uh, we're in it we're, we're definitely in the, in, in the in the area that we want to be in while we're playing playoff basketball i'm just glad we're not playing every other day and also from your perspective what did you see from uh, julius Randle and what makes him so tough to guard this season and how important is to set the tone from your defensive end to, from, the, uh, from the first minute of the game? Yeah, he's been doing a great job. Um, you know, he embodies the system that Tibbs has always played. You know, you, you look at what Joaquin Noah did for the Bulls team um, in, Chicago, yeah, in Chicago, when he's that, that, that playmaker in the middle. Um, you know, his role for that team was very different from what Julius is providing. Uh, Julius is providing, you know, he, he's that middle guy. He's that playmaker. Uh, and but he's also a scoring threat. He's also a threat to get to the free throw line, and he, he plays his game well. He, he's found a, a comfort zone and, and what they do in the Knicks. And it's not just about him, but as you have to give tremendous credit to guys like R.J. Barrett, you know, um, Derrick Rose, and he, he's playing some amazing basketball. Derrick Rose coming off the bench and playing 
some really relaxing basketball. You know, you have to give kudos to uh, Nerlens Noel, who's been huge at protecting the rim for them. Uh, and then you get a guy like Alec Burke who come back and he's he's putting up numbers off the bench. Todd Gibson knows role. So they have a team that's kind of bought in. I think the thing that has um, separated them from other teams is the fact that everybody's bought into their role and they respect their role. Um, so defensive defensively, they're going to they're going to do their thing. They're going to grab. They're going to hold. They're going to be very physical. They've done it throughout the whole year. Um, it's tips M.O. as far as uh, being a defensive team. Um, and Julius is the head of the snake. Uh, and, and what we have to do is just turn up our defensive pressure. We have to uh, pack the paint. We have to pay attention to what's going on out there, keep guys out of foul trouble. Um, and we, we like our chances. We, we like the fact that, you know, out of the times that we played them, we felt very confident in our ability to to do some of the things out there that we want to do. Um, I know last time we came out here, we lost Trey um, to like an ankle sprain and lost the lead with that. But we give them guys tremendous credit uh, and we look forward to playing. Any final questions for Solo? I think we are clear. Thank you. Appreciate you. Got it. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining us. We will see you for Coach McMillan later on this afternoon.